Alright then, here we have our guy who we've uh, drawn, traced round, coloured in, and then shaded. If you haven't done any of that, then you need to follow one of the other tutorials that were before this. Okay, so this one's going to be animating him. We do it with bones, well, that's the easiest thing to do. So just to drag that inside the bone layer. And this is basically a recap, and it'll add a few more details. But Okay. Now, because of the way that we've drawn this, everything should be easily separatable. So, I'm just going to slowly select everything and separate it. Now, you don't have to separate everything. You can use points, but I find it easier if you separate it uh, visually. Okay, now I start making bones. Now, I've um, had someone that it's kind of annoying if you start off with the bone just here going upwards, because when you turn the body, the legs move as well. They don't want that. So what I'm going to do instead is just draw a bone down here, and that's going to be the parent for everything. So now we just carry on as if we hadn't even drawn that. Okay, remember that you um, parent it right. Look, that goes to there, that goes to there. Alright, now instead of making the legs parented to the uh, body, this time we'll just have it to the parent. Or the master, or whatever you want to call it. Alright then, let's go to frame one. Move everything into place. Right, now let's test out how it is. Now that's horrible. It doesn't work at all how I want to do. The body is okay. The body, no, actually the body's not that good. It gets smaller. The arms, a bit naff. So I think we concluded that for these detailed ones, it'd be a lot better for us to do it ourselves. Yeah. Okay then, so I'm just going to um, start uh, binding points. So that's easy enough, you just uh, select the ones you want, click bind points, or hit space, do whatever. I'm going to click the bind points one because I'm holding a microphone. One thing you've got to notice is that um, let's say I select all these points and bind them. So the whole arm. Then I bind these points to uh, to that bone. So these points have two bindings. So what happens? Well, it just gets rid of the old ones and puts new ones. So you don't have to be worried about getting the specific points in the first one, but you do in the second one, and definitely the third one. <laughs> right, so that's that done. I'll do the same here, let's get the random areas. Might as well just get the whole head and then change it when we get to the head. Now, well, if you set up the last one correctly, uh, you should just be able to select the hair and then go back to bind. And now we've got to select the face. Okay, so you can constantly test it out, see how you've done, or how you haven't done. 
Okay, so we need to fix that, obviously. Uh, something didn't go. Ah, oh, the eyebrows. Remember to press shift when you're selecting. Whatever's in your selection when you hit bind points, that will be bind points. It won't be add to binded points. Alright, that's good enough. Except for the neck. You see, that's a bit not very good. And you might want it to be slightly more curved than that. So, what we can do is very simple. Just go in and delete those points. They're not contributing anything to the shape. So, deleting them won't do anything. I'll just make it smoother. Oh, we just missed something underneath it. Don't know what we missed. If you don't know what it is, go to a frame other than zero and animate it. And then it will stay in it when you go into the editing. So we can select that and go back. And it turns out it was in between the neck. Oh, we'll just delete that. You realize you don't need all the points when you get to this stage. Okay. So that works. Alright, it's just going to be more of the same for the leg and for the arm, so I'm just going to freak everything. There's just one problem that I came up with, which is the leg there. That doesn't look very good, does it? Now there's a couple of ways to solve this. Uh, you could move this point down a bit, just delete it. Sometimes you need the point, sometimes you don't. In that case, I don't. It does it that way as well, but we won't really need the leg to bend that way because legs don't bend that way. But better yet, we can actually stop it bending that way. Click on the bone and go to Bone Constraints and click Angle Constraints. Now, you see it's minus 70 and 70 as default. Let's just change this to zero. Now you see that line moved and now I can't move that leg past the hinge. I can only move that that far. I think that's a good enough distance. Now, this one, 70 and 70. Is that enough? Hmm. I don't think your leg can move quite that far in that direction. So we'll change that to 25. I guess that'll do. Now I'm looking at the foot, and that's not very lifelike. It's your foot doesn't do that. So the way to fix it would be to change the pivot point. <laughs> so we can move this bone down like that. We can change the size, rotation. Alright, so now let's test it out. That's better. We just want to make sure it doesn't go too far. So we'll set the constraints to fairly small. You don't accidentally put a positive number in here and a negative number in here, otherwise it won't move. There you go, that's good enough. So the legs now has limits, it can only go so far, and that will stop it looking stupid. So, you can add your restraints to wherever you want to stop things like that happening. I'll stop them going like that. or anything you want. So, now, what we have is, if you followed all the tutorials over the past days, you've been able to draw your own character, uh, scan in, draw around it, add shading to it, and now it's fully posable to do whatever you want. So no more having to use the uh, defaults that they give you. You can actually make your own now. Alright, I hope this tutorial helped. Uh, that's it for today.